All right, the 49ers kick someone's ass again for the umpteenth straight week, and we're going to break it down here, pull back the curtain, sit down. This is what it's like to watch film with actual NFL linemen, a decade and a half of experience in the trenches. Jeremiah Searles, Alex Boone, I'm Phil Mackey. I quit football in eighth grade, so I just ask dumb questions to these guys. I feel like this is just going to have to turn into, especially with Booney being a San Francisco Dude. 49ers cult legend, this might just have to be weekly breakdowns of the 49ers offense. They keep point, they keep kicking the teeth in of everyone. It's hard not to. It's so fun to watch. It is. It's just polished oh. perfection football. The only thing that will stop the San Francisco 49ers is injuries. I, I fully yeah. plant my field on that. If they can stay healthy, it's a clear run to the Super Bowl. I agree 100%. Dude, and not only that, but one of the things that I like about this game is if you look right now, it's 6 nothing, and we're in the second quarter. That whole first quarter was a shit show. Like, they were a mess. They didn't know what they were doing. They come out in the second quarter, and all of a sudden, they're like, no, 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 that's not who we were. We just need to get our feet in the ground, and here we are. And all of a sudden, it was off to the races. And if you can win in Philly, because, Jay, you know, mm. if you can win in Philly after they just beat the Chiefs, and they're flying high, and they're winning right now, dude, I'm telling you, it's a scary sight for anybody in their way. Did you see what they did? Did you see what everyone wore? Led by Trent Williams, by the way. They all no. wore black to a funeral showing up to that game. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. They, they, I, love their, I love their personalities. I love the way that they play football. I love the way that they get after there. And I know I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this, but I love the fact that Dre Greenlaw got into the personnel's face. Like, dude, don't, mm. don't, don't, don't come at me. Don't fucking come at me, dude. They are wild dogs yeah, out there. And they're yeah, literally like, stick meatball. your finger in my face again. I'll bite it off. Like, dude, that's what I love. You are I will absolutely rip the Italian patch it. off of your arm if you come one step further. Listen here, Meatball. You don't want to fuck with me. <laughs> here hey, we go, uh, baby. Let's dive in. Click the like button and the subscribe button on the O-Line Committee YouTube channel if you enjoy these film breakdowns. Give us suggestions on what you'd like to see broken down. So, okay, Niners, let's get some something going here, okay? Haven't let's scored try a point it. yet. Down 6 go. nothing. Halfway through the second quarter. I believe let's this first play is actually... I don't know if it... Here we go. Spread them out. Get them beat. Get some Potion. eye candy going. Oh, to Kittle. Oh, this is... This is such a beautiful play. Now, listen, the whole the whole season, this is what they do, right? They're motion everywhere. They're shift everybody. They're going to realign your defense for you based on what they want to see. But what I love about this play here is we send Kittle in this Y hide where they kind of lose him as they snap the ball. They lose him also because as he goes at Hassan Reddick, they're like, oh, well, he's just here to block. Right, so they don't they lose sight of him. But this is what it allows for this huge play is to throw him in here and be like, Hey, you're not blocking him, you're just gonna chip him from McCrivitz. Like that's all we need you to do, and then you're gonna leak out late. And plays like this are working for them because you see Juwan Jennings here, you see Christian McCaffrey here, you see Debo Samuel here. The whole defense is focused on what they're doing, and they lose Kittle in this, oh, he's just blocking motion. And it turns into this massive play. And I believe this was the first series that they got going, and this was kind of of the play that sparked them. I mean, dude, this is how they work. This is how they operate. They are fucking fun. It also shows how much attention they have to pay to Christian McCaffrey. Right? Watch Christian McCaffrey here. He's he goes out to the left just a block and blanket ship is screaming down like, oh God, here he comes. Oh no. Right? Like they think he's gonna run out to the flat here, but this is a great job of allowing Christian to cut this guy at the edge, allows Trent to sell the play action even more. Right, Trent can step really down into this three technique here because Trent. But watch, both these linebackers and the safety are just staring at Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, right. They're just like, "Where's 23? 23 is not going to beat us, right?" And then he goes and he throws a cut, and then they both kind of panic, like, "Oh, where's everyone else? Like, where did he go? He's no longer a threat." Great job here, Christian cuts. Trent might get a FedEx for this because the high Bruh. man always gets the FedEx. Don't just do gonna it. Throw that don't, out there. Don't do it. Don't do it. But anyways, great sell, and then Kittle does a nice job, just kind of chipping his way out through here right and now this linebacker that was so focused on christian mccaffrey's going oh god oh okay. god that's 20 yards of space between me and george kittle no shot chief no Dude, shot. all all because you got focus focused on one other player like this is the deception that they have naturally <laughs> organically just moving people around dude there's uh, no he caught this and i go did somebody <laughs> fall down <laughs> like why is there nine, nobody nine around the, the number like... one tight end in the nfl not one fucking person is standing by him like dude how do you lose the biggest craziest dude on the field amazing yeah. man so so this was like the first big play that kind of sparked things get things going they wind up going in for a touchdown here. Tutty. Okay. 
This was this was the first of six drives to end the game. Six touchdowns on those six drives for the 49ers. Wild. Absolutely wild. Right, we got you, third and two here. This is this is the, the punch in here. Leave Once again, big fellas. A little motion. Oh, we're going the orbit motion. No, we're gonna fake it. Dude, this is I love this. They run I, that orbit motion. Is I that what you're talking it. about? Yes. Like yes, the, is it right here? Now check here. this out. They run but, that a lot. Well, them in Miami do, right? Because obviously they all come from the Kyle Shanahan tree. And Kyle kind of started this where he goes across, gets the defense thinking. But now as the defense sees this, look at everybody's eyes right now. Where's everybody looking? They're all looking at Debo. Every single person thinks Debo has the ball. All of a sudden, here comes Brandon Ayuk, a number one receiver on any other team. It's just going to slip my way right through here. Nobody even fucking sees me. Dude, this is almost too easy for everybody. And it's all because of eye candy. Everybody Ooh. stuck watching Debo the Great whole time. Great job by Purdy here. Watch Purdy. He this broke. is my own amateur. Uh... What do you got? Talk us through so, it. What okay. do you see here, Mac? Talk us through it. So you, you guys explain the first part of the play. So right here, right here. He's got two options, right? One short of the – you ideally aren't throwing here with a, with a guy covering, right? Correct. This, is, this, is, th this throw to Ayuk is still dangerous right now because this dude is locked in. Watch this. So watch what he does. He shakes him. He he pumps him and makes him stutter his step right there. And boom, clear space for Ayuk mm. to. Dude. Am I wrong on that? No, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. And also the ball placement here is elite, right? Talk about it. Purdy, he has the keys to the car, but, man, he's driving the hell out of that car, right? These right guys here. are covered. This is covered right now. So you got to get This is anticipation, him, right? You have boom. to anticipate throws. Right and boom, put it where only your receiver can go get it. Fantastic job. And then Purdy just cules a cucumber, just walks out like, yeah, right, no big I'm deal. Mister Irrelevant, him. man. Mister Irrelevant. I gotta go hit my farm back home real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on the combine. No big deal. Another Here we orbit, go. Up. Uh, orbit. Yeah, I'm almost positive this might be the exact same play without sending Kittle in motion. I'm almost positive we're still gonna do a stutter pull here. And this this goes yeah, back to their whole philosophy. The Look, see. It goes back to their whole philosophy. We're just going to continue showing them different variations of this play. And while they're all staring in the backfield, one of the craziest dudes in the NFL is going to be running right by you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Look, they have use check in the backfield, and Christian McCaffrey now at the, at the slot. And now Debo goes in motion. This whole defense right now is pure panic mode because, look, 85 just runs right between two guys. Everybody is literally like, what's going on in the backfield? Oh, nothing of our business. I just... This is God, becoming so easy for them. And this that's football porn, man. This and is a lot of it right here. is this because is... the minute that they do hand it to Debo around, he's going to get something. Or all of a sudden it'll be Christian McCaffrey and they'll toss it to him and he's 10 yards up the field. Their run game is helping them with their pass game in more ways than one. Spread them back out. Right now the Eagles are completely on their heels. They have I no idea what's going on here. First Fade. Of all, the for the <laughs> protection, the protection is wow. absolutely elite. Right, everyone talks about the Philly front. Right, they're so good, and I agree. They're probably the second best front in the NFL, behind maybe the third. It probably goes. I think Niners are the best, then Dallas probably, and then the Eagles. Right, and so you talk here. So they just do again. Little motion buzz out here. Protection. Trent Williams locked down. McKivitz. They pass off the stun on the right there. Look at that pocket for Purdy operating. That's incredible. And this route. This route. Go good back. Luck Mackie, can to, you go to the good, wide real quick? Yeah, good mm -hmm. luck to whoever has this. to cover McCaffrey in this route here. Listen, this is this a choice is, route. Right, and this has become something that they're starting to do and go back a little bit. You see in the beginning, he starts to motion him out, right? And that all of a sudden puts this defender on a bind because we're widening our player already. Like, I'm already trying to get separation from you. And from here, it becomes this, where is he going? Now, we saw earlier in our, I think it was two podcasts ago, where all of a sudden he came out here and he broke out. But now all of a sudden we're going to add a different variation because they've seen that on film. So now watch. The defender's going to start to fall outside. He's like, oh, yeah, I've seen this. But it actually is just almost like a wheel fade route. And the defender has no idea. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what the progression is to this offense. It's once we've put it out there and they see it and they think they know what we're doing, we change it up. We throw something new at them. This fade route is phenomenal. Like I think the confidence to number one throw it and the ability to run it in this situation was 
awesome. Like nobody had any idea what was going on. Very rarely do DBs not know what's going on. They have a pretty good idea of what you're going to run based on the film that they've seen. And the more you start changing it up, the more you say to them, hey, you don't know what the fuck we're going to do. You got to be on your toes at all times. Like, look at this. This little motion, 41's like, shit, shit. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> it's just an out route. I should be okay. I've seen this like twice already. It ends up being a massive fade. Yeah, and this just this, this tiny little motion immediately tells Purdy all he needs to know is like 100% man coverage, right? Like it's a pre-snap indicator, right? If he would have just kind of everyone were to bump or everyone were to shift, he's like, okay, it's zone. But the second he knew this was man coverage, he's like, I like that matchup. I like oh, that yeah, matchup. I, I know who I'm going to go to right now, and it's yeah. a timing throw, right? 41, if, again, if you go to the wide, he thinks this is pick six city. Like watch him. The, he, the way he jumps this out route – He's going, oh, I've like Boone said, I've seen this on tape. I studied tape. It's like the old Cam Newton. Oh, you watch tape? Cool. Watch this. Watch this. Right? Like he's like, I got this. Coming up here, I'm gonna stay on my inside leverage. He's gonna go on an out route. Oh yeah, pick six. Right? Like he undercuts it right there. Look, like, look back. And then he's oh, like, shit. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna not gonna work not here. Gonna, not gonna work here anymore. <laughs> Dude, oh, there man. it is. Right. And that's well, but hey, this goes back to speaking. People are like, how can you consistently make these guys efficient week in and week out and keep them superstars? This is how by actually doing your job. Kyle Shanahan's going out there and going, This is what we've shown them. Now let's change it up. They think it's this, let's make it that. Dude, this is coaching at another level. God, look at this. Everything is just get get these guys moving and thinking. Once again, on defense. there he is. Go back. This guy, he he honestly is. He Number deserves so much too. more credit. Number than 85. He He's phenomenal. And very rarely can you find a tight end that can catch the ball, run through motherfuckers' faces, and get out there and block. And his ability to do this on this reverse sets this play up. What I love even more is how he goes past Hassan Riddick. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying knows. that he, whether he was supposed to do that or not, the fact that he can hold him enough and get by him is awesome. Because, look, Hassan yeah, yeah, has how no do you, how idea. How do you know? Is it just because you know that you he have knows, a feeling he's going to have a step yep. on him? No, you just have a feeling. You say, hey, listen, I've seen this enough to know that if Hassan takes more than three steps up the field, he's bought on this handoff here, and I can go past him. It's almost like you can never tell somebody black or white. You just have to be like, man, trust your gut. Like right there, the minute Hassan makes another step past George and like tries to get away from George, he's like, I, the play's gone. You're never going to catch Debo. And here, this block right here, honestly, it sets the whole play up. Blocking two and, people but, at once. But, and his decision, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong here, but it's two things. If he takes Hassan Reddick, this can't be a touchdown, right? Correct. Like, like if he takes Hassan Reddick, cool, like, okay, now, now you've freed Debo up, but now watch this play without 85 out there finishing the block. Yeah, no, so it, it's, it, it's way it's harder. It's his decision to not block Reddick and then get out, right? Yes. Yeah, and then, and then the ability to, so many tight ends here stop their feet on contact, right? Like, but the, when you watch him run, dude, it's like a tackle in space. He hits him with his hands first. He doesn't headbutt him. Boom. Hands locked See, in. hands on? Drive, no, look drive at that right feet, there. Oh. And then just get enough on the other guy. Trust your guy. Trust your playmaker. You know, I just have to get a hand on this dude to slow him down so he can't try and smash him out of bounds, right? Just get enough. Block your guy into him and then go past him. Blocks them both. He throw a haymaker insane, right dude. in this dude's chest. I mean, I I'm know he's you. an Iowa Hawkeye, but I love that kid. Love dude, what's it like in the 49ers film room after this? I mean, are they just You're like dimming, dimming the lights, <laughs> popping some... beers? Oh, DJ, man. hit that shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And you, know, you know what you do? You're literally like, hey, let's just get through the first six real fast, and then we'll fucking party, okay? God, and right here, what did I tell you? I Tossing the ball to 23 has could be the best decision ever, and what it does is it wears down this defense. I love how they're just continuously beating on this defense. Now, I told you before, they're going to the left. This block, go back real quick, and I wanted to talk about Trent this. Williams. I saw this live. Yeah, No, 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 go back. Oh, the, the use check one? Yes, the use check and the Kittle block. This block is actually a quad, right? But it's a quad on the run. Now, sit down because this becomes interesting. I remember when we first started doing this motion, they always wanted this motion to happen as late as possible to catch the team off guard and at the same time still gain an advantage. Go back. There's your advantage right there. You put your fullback on the defensive end. 
the one guy out here to stop the play. And it, what it does is you tell Kittle, listen, you are off the ball right now. You fly the fuck off the ball and you take him however you find him. But you have to get a hand because it's going to slow him down and allow Juszczyk to run on him right now before he has any decision making. Like see how he kind of gets a hand on him right here and it slows down that defensive end and then it allows his fullback to full speed just run right through the teeth of him. And, and get gets across his face, right? And phenomenal get... job. This is a phenomenal quad because look at the running back now. He sees the lane. You have Big 7-1 just fucking dominating people on the back end. <laughs> Dude, are you for real right now? Look at this. Look at this clinic. Look, Trent's like, where are you at? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Here, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll leave yeah. you up. Another another unsung block here is the center. If you go back, like, it's not pretty. It's not flashy. But the guy who always makes the play on these tosses is the backside linebacker. Like he's always the one that can run through. And this is a great job of just getting skinny, getting up there and being able to just run with this guy, not stopping your feet, get up. And just, once you get to this wow. point, just Look take him where that. he wants to go. Dude, right. And then he peeks his head inside for half a second. Right. And he's done. He's toast. Right. He's toast. Now you're one-on-one -on -one with Reed Blankenship, Chris McCaffrey. Yeah. I'll sign up for that most days. Jay said it best. The, one of the best things is this center didn't stop his feet. I know for a fact that the coach that coaches here tells these dudes to run off the ball. There is nothing that is allowed to slow them down or stutter them, their feet, and they do a great job of it. But it allows them, as you saw, to get on the linebackers faster, and it forces them to just make take themselves out of the play. That, and that's one of the things that we teach in the gym is that we don't ever want to wait on a linebacker. Run up on his goddamn teeth. So this what's going what was, on here, right? This go is going on like we have to stop him. Right, we have to stop him. This has to end. All right, what? send eight. They're running back. They're send literally running. sending. Yeah, look at all these guys. Send, send seven. Send them all, dude. Right, <laughs> send everyone. We know that they can't block them all. We're going to bet on someone to get mm. home. Christian McCaffrey, the best running back in the league, maybe the best receiving back in the league, Watch steps this. up in the A gap with just some absolute power. I love right? it. That's a Boom. linebacker. Boom. Doesn't cut in the hole. Right, gets good pad level, gets underneath him. Everyone else hands, is making CMC. a wall. More hands. Yeah, use your hands, but dude, it's survive, me. right? Survive. <laughs> right. You come out here, you got Trent Williams going vertical here, playing for games. They wall off here. Purdy knows he's got to beat this guy with the ball. Right. He knows I got one too many. He gets it out just in time, knows where his one on one matchup is. And this isn't Debo. This isn't dude, Ayuk. This isn't Juwan Kittle. Jennings. This is Jennings. This is their third best receiving Watch, option. Get right out there. Of here. Oh, get off me. Dude, I'm telling you, they wanted it more than the Eagles. It showed up. You haven't up, even dude. seen the the best blocked play of Just the wait. sequence here, Just which wait. is right here. Look it's this, this one. When he slipped <laughs> through here, I was like, son of a bitch. Dude, they He's weren't even really it. trying to score here. They were no, just trying to bleed were. some time down, like easy high completion throw. Everyone out. This is a missile screen. This is torpedo. This torpedo. is two by two. This is to a two by two set here. God, Go to the wide copy. I'll kind of talk you through what the blocking scheme is here. Right. So the idea is. is we just drew this up. So this is to a two-receiver <laughs> side, right? So the idea here is the first guy out here, which is going to be Kittle, right? Kittle's the first guy out here. Nope, 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 in line, oh, right? Oh, my so bad, my bad. Yeah. that receiver has to block the guy over number one, right? So the slot receiver is going to block the corner over number one, right? You push up. You block the guy that's getting the ball. Kittle's rules to block the guy over number two. Trent's rule, smash. Three. Hulk smash, dude. Hulk number smash three, three. <laughs> right? <laughs> so he comes through in there. He hits number three and actually peels to number four when you watch. Uh, I think that's Blake and Chip again. No, that's not. Um, I'm not sure that is in the middle safety there. Uh, but, you know, he's coming over the top. He's technically number four. And Trent just ping-pongs this guy. Right? They just use the defense aggression against him. Kittle gets out of number two. They go through, and then they just punish him. Like, look at 64. There's the center again, just sending this dude ass over elbows. I fucking love it. Get uh, after his ass. So dude, this physical. is a – honestly, you want to send a statement to, to the rest of the league. You want to go out here and win against tough teams. You have to go out and dominate them like this. And this is a phenomenal job. I love how you see all these offensive linemen get out here. There's Trent, like, fuck you. I'll come for you. <laughs> the center jumps in. But I would be remiss if I didn't say that this is a phenomenal play by Debo to just absolutely ride that yeah. wave and get right through there. Like, dude, it just goes to show you how special he really is. And if he gets the ball on any play, it could be a disaster for anybody. Football surfing is what this God, play is. God, dude. Right just like, they're scary, dude. They, they are, are terrifying. And their and defense? I, psh, good yeah, luck. Okay. You get okay. a lead. You get a lead with that defense, and you got Chase Young. Like, congratulations, Commanders. You ruined it for everyone. You really did. Right? Like, you're <laughs> like, you really did. And you also, did. like, thanks, Broncos. You didn't want Randy Gregory anymore? Sure, we'll just send him over there, too. Like, the stable of pass rushers that team has, if they get a double-digit lead, 
you're not coming back on them. No. You're not. Like I can confidently say you're not going to throw the ball over the yard on that defense and come back on that 49ers team. Dude, and not only that, but their back end is playing. Like I'm telling you, Jalen Hurts was holding that ball at one time for like 10 seconds. I was like, dude, your old line is going to kill you. <laughs> I would At the end of that game, I'd have been like, dude, I love you. Don't ever do that to me again. Throw it away like- or fucking run. There's two scenarios I think that the Niners would not win the Super Bowl. Number one is injuries, which you can't predict. If Trent Williams or somebody, whatever, I don't want to jinx anything. Number two would be if the Chiefs get to the Super Bowl and Patrick Mahomes just like goes full Patrick Mahomes. But again, I don't think they have the weapons in that game, the Chiefs. Yeah, and their O line is not capable of keeping up with that. I'm telling you, that San Francisco D line is really only being manhandled by Philly. Like who's the, who's the team? Who's the team that could beat San Francisco? Fully stocked, fully healthy San Philly. Francisco. Philly or I Dallas. Could. Yeah. Philly or because Dallas. their old lines are equipped enough to keep yeah. off that pass rush. Dude, I'm telling you, people overlook this every year. And you're like, this is when guys start getting really hungry. Like Stats go to the side, and now it's like it's not about stats anymore. It's about winning the goddamn Super Bowl. Like yeah. The whole year, you're fighting really hard to do something, and you're really out there for your stats and to be paid. But now it's like all that gets pushed to the side, and it's all about who wants to win. And when you talk about that, dude, look at look what happened to the Buccaneers versus uh, KC a couple years ago. Everybody's like, oh, watch out, Patrick Mahomes. He had shit tackles, and he got eaten alive. Dude, I'm tell, tell me I'm lying. No, dude. You know, it's, uh, I think it makes sense. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this breakdown of just glorious football porn in the trenches, mm. the San Francisco 49ers, click that like button and the subscribe button on the O-Line Committee YouTube channel. And, hey, O-LineCommittee.com as of this week, you guys asked for merch. We've got your clean pocket club shirts and hoodies. We got your pancakes, hoodies, and shirts, your O-line committee hats. So uh, hit us up on olinecommittee.com. Whew. Need a smoke and a pancake after after. It's that only one. getting better, dude. Get ready.